Hey, schools have struggled with how to teach their students throughout the pandemic, and today another nearby district will be bringing some of those students back into the classroom again. News for Tucson's Frankie McLister is live at Tank of Verde Elementary School with more on when that is going to happen. I think we can check our watches right now, Frankie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's going to happen in about uh, an hour. Students should start arriving to Tank of Verde Elementary School and Tank of Verde Unified School District is the latest to bring students back into the classroom. They will join area school districts such as Mariana Unified, Vail Schools and Catalina Foothills School District who already have students back into the classroom. This will be the fourth. And again, we're just talking about the ones around here in the city of Tucson. Let me tell you more. Now they are going to be providing that hybrid instruction format that many schools have just gone back and forth since March and many area schools here in Tucson have remained fully remote since the holidays and many were only supposed to for two weeks after New Year's but just pushed it back and obviously Tank of Verde Unified pushed it back until today. Now Tank of Verde won't be bringing all of its students back today. In fact, it'll only be kindergarten through sixth graders making that transition. Their seventh through twelfth graders will do the same next week. That is obviously if the students choose not to stay remote, which the school district will continue to give them the option to do so if it makes them more comfortable. We sent out a message to all families asking them to report back to let us know what um, track would feel best for their family, what would meet their needs at this time. And so families were able to choose whether they would like to report to campus or whether they would like to stay online. And Sean, listen to this. Um, Emma, the principal that we just saw in my interview with there, she said that all the students and staff, I believe their mascot here is the geckos. So let's say all the geckos here at Tank Verde Elementary School are going to be following what they are calling the three W's. Number one, wearing for wearing a mask. Number two, walking six feet apart. And number three, washing, washing your hands. Sean? Yeah, anything to make him remember, that's, uh, that's awesome. Uh, Frankie, you mentioned this option they have. Do you uh, happen to know how many uh, students have chosen to return uh, and their parents uh, having them back in the classroom then stay fully remote? Yeah, it's really interesting. So for this school in specific, they have around 600 or so students, 450 of those 600 responded to administration here at Tank Verde Elementary School saying they would like to come back in some format. So that is 75% mm. of their total student body here. Emma, their principal also added to me that all of their staff and employees here at the school will return today. And we've already seen some walking in and that actually brings me to my next point is we will be here up until 9 a.m. during the Today Show showing you what the scene is as students start to arrive. All right, that's good news. Uh, but some students uh, have not been returning to districts. It's been almost one year since the COVID-19 pandemic started impacting schools and enrollment numbers are telling the story. News for Tucson's Allie Potter has more.